What is up? It's your brother and success, Chris Celeste, one of the founders of Operation Veteran Freedom. And with me on the line is my partner in service, Liam Weisner. Say what's up, brother. What's up, brother? Today, we're going to share with you what you actually need to start a business and what you've been told has actually been a lie. Here we go. So I'm sure by now you've been on the internet and you've heard a million different things that you need to start a business. And traditionally, owning a business had quite a few difficult steps that you needed to do to get started. However, with the birth of social media and that's the growth of digital-based advertising and businesses, that's no longer the case. And today what we're going to share with you is the actually the two things you need to get started, get off the ground and start making money as a legitimate business. And then you can grow from there. And we're going to share with you those exact steps. Here we go. So the only two things that you really need are one, an actual offer, right? You have to actually a product or service, something that you're providing the world to establish yourself as a business. And really, you don't need a storefront or any of these things anymore. Something as simple as an Etsy shop or a Facebook business page establishes you as a legit business in today's market. However, that's only the front. That's only the face, right? That only allows you to be seen. But in order to actually be a business, you have to have transactions. You have to actually make money. And so you have to have that offer, that value that you can provide to somebody in the form of a product or service that'll ultimately allow them to gain that value and give you money in return. The second thing you're going to need is that audience, is someone to actually exchange their money for your value, right? And so whatever that may be, we have other videos on the YouTube channel that explain a lot more about audiences and things like that. So we're not going to dive into it here today, but I will tell you that all an audience is, is a group of people with a common problem they need solved or a common desire they need met. That's it. And as long as your offer does that, you have an audience. And hopefully that audience is large enough, remember size matters, for you to keep that business sustained for a long period of time. If it is not large enough and you do not expand and grow your audience, then eventually you'll run out of people to service, hence why I bring it up as a warning. But again, if you have an offer and you have an audience who wants that offer and is willing to exchange you money for it, you have a business. And you can set up a free business page, a free uh, Etsy shop, whatever it is. Now, obviously, if you're not selling physical products, don't set up an Etsy shop, but just some examples. Examples, and you have a legitimate business. That's all it is. Now, there are additional things you're going to want down the road. There are additional things that as the income's coming in, as you're making money in this business, you are going to want to add on, build out to make sure that you are secure for the future, that you have all your assets and resources in place to not only grow your business, protect your business as well. Now, I'm not a CPA or an attorney, so definitely reach out to yours or hire one so you can make sure your entire business is safe. But I will share with you personally what we have done here at the OBF and what I have done with other businesses. And this is exactly it. It's called bootstrapping. You have your offer, you have your audience, you go out there and you start selling it. You sell that offer to the audience. And as you're making that money in, that's when you go ahead and you form the LLC or whatever you decide you want to you know, incorporate your business as. Or that's when you go out and you start buying the marketing stuff that you need, the sales funnels, the ad copy, the ad budget, things like that, that ultimately will allow you to grow that business and keep that business secure. You're definitely going to want these things in the future. But again, what we want to share with you today is you don't need all these bells and whistles to get started. And it definitely is not nearly as hard as it was just five years ago to get a business off the ground. All you need is an offer and an audience. And you can go on any social media site and set yourself up a very simple page and start selling right away. And so with all that being said, stop with all this difficultness, remove this whole, it's going to take me a million steps and a million years and a million followers to be successful online. That is not the case. I'll tell you right now, all you need is a thousand true fans, and you could be just as successful as anybody else online today. So guys, go out there, take action, audience, offer, build yourself a simple page and start selling and providing value to the world and watch that cash register ring and that business grow. As always, I'm your brother in success, Chris Celeste. If you found value here today, make sure you smash that subscribe button and drop in the comments, what was your biggest takeaway from this video here today? And if you know anyone else who's struggling with this difficult belief that starting a business is hard or that it takes a million steps or a million years or a million followers, share this video with them so they also can know it only takes three simple things to get going. So we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.